Hi friends, I'm back today with uh, more of the 50 stack challenge for uh, today. I'm going to do a prompt 19 is button and 20 is art. So we're going to try to get going on this so I don't make them too long. Uh, so for button, um, I wanted to do something different. So I do have one Edith Holden book, one, and uh, I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> Because I know we hoard them. If you're if you're blessed enough to get one in your hands, you don't want to touch it. You don't want to cut it up, and you got you just just do it. You want to do it, okay? So I'm telling you to get the book out and start cutting it up. <laughs> anyway, I have the front page, the title page from the book. Um, nothing fancy about it, but. I made, um, from one of the other pages, I made two buttons um, along, I don't have the book in front of me, but along the bottom of one page, there were these little flower images like this printed, and I just took an inch punch, and I punched them out, two of them, and then I punched two more plain pieces and glued them to the back. So um, it's really stiff. There are three three thicknesses here. I used my awl and poked two holes in them and then I just threaded some twine, some really thin twine that I had to make a button. So that's what I did. That's This is going to be button. It's an Edith Holden button. Okay and so I did that. I have a little velcro dot here. These are great from the Dollar Tree. You can get them. They're very good. And then I'm, I'm going to use this page, and I have some book page. So this is this idea is nothing new, um, but I thought, oh, yeah, I could do this. So what I'm going to do is just take this page, and I'm going to eyeball it, but I can measure for you. I'm going to fold it up, like, say, I want to have this flap to come over, and then I'll trim the sides. So let's make it... I don't want to get the year on there, so I'm going to make it right there. You could do this with any book page, okay? And then um, I'm not I'm not going to fold it right up to there. I'm going to give it a little bit of a room here, and this is going to be our flap down. I have glue all over my hands. That's what's coming off on my hands here. So let me maybe get this even. And now we have to, I wanted to make this like, um, all right, one thing at a time. Let me cut down the sides of how wide I want it. Now I want to be able to cut it to about here. I want it to be able to fit on a page because it's going to be an accordion folder pocket tuck kind of thing. So let's just make this. We're going to make this about four inches wide. That should be a good size. So I am going to cut about a quarter inch away from the words. I'm just going to eyeball it here. And you can always trim it off again. I'm going to cut that and I save that because you can stamp on there because it's such a great patina. Uh, paper and then let's do it here's four so let's see how that goes sorry for the noise it's very loud okay so that's that's that let me just put this over here for now so I have this right and um so okay so my idea was to make some an accordion holder in here and then we could use the button to make a closure here with the velcro I mean you could normally tie you know punch a hole tie a string blah 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 but I wanted it to be even just something different and since it is a button I wanted to kind of use it or to look like a button now I could round those little corners, which I think I will. So I'm going to use my smaller corner rounder thing here. Get that in there. 
and that softens the edges. I like that. And so I, yeah, I'm going to be making some videos. I'm trying to catch, oh, don't need to do that. I'm trying to catch up on my 50 step challenge, right? So I've been busy making the, I made that um, groovy album and I need to catch up on my, um, I'm not sure if I need to punch a hole there. We'll think about that. So to go on the inside, I'm just going to take book page. I have some here. I made one little pocket already. All I did was fold a book page in half, cut it, well, cut it to the width. Actually, this is going to be too wide. I might have to trim this down. You want it to just stay inside, inside there. And it's, oh my gosh, it's like ever so slight. Let me just take a smidge off here and I'll give you, I'll show you what I'm going to do like the smallest little smidge off of here, like that. See how little? <laughs> I think it should be fine now. Let me see. All I did, and I'll show you. I just want to make sure this fits. Yep. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, we're going to make three more pockets. I'm going to show you. Three more pockets. So take some book page, and since this is this is four inches, so we just want to make it ever so slightly, and then you want it to be no taller than. Okay, so this will be seven, seven by four, because this piece here we measured. I'm making one four inches. And the whole piece, if you need the measurement, the whole piece is nine inches. So nine inches by four. And then I folded it up at four. So you have four and then four inches here. And then from this end, I folded it down one and an eighth. That's for the flap. See, so then you don't want it to go all the way up. I might, even though I put those there, I might even, I don't know if I'll need to notch that. I don't think I will, but I'm not sure yet. But I notched these. Okay, let's make a couple more pockets, shall we? So this is all I'm doing. I'm just folding this in half. Two of them. Like this. And then we're going to... Cut them four inches. So I'm going to get this off. Like this. Okay. So let's see how that looks. So there's that. I can cut this down a little. How far did I? This is... um. I don't know. What did I do here? Let me get my little ruler again. Uh, three and a half. So seven. So this is a seven inch page. Folded it in half. Seven by four. So I just have to make sure. Right? I just have to. Oh, it is. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm cutting off a little bit of the top here. So I don't, sometimes I don't know how to read these numbers. I, I see the one, two, three, and four, but where the halves are, I just haven't figured that out yet on there. So it's just a smidge off the top. You want to make them even. Well, there it is right there, three and a half, Nance. This is what happens when you have brain farts, right? Okay, so we have one of those. I'm going to make one more. Folded it in half already. Let's cut this off. And then let's do that. I just want to make sure I'm. Nope. It's right here, I think. Right? Oh my gosh. This is not working out for me here. <laughs> this cutter. This cutter. I don't know. 
I don't know if it's all metric, some metric. I don't know what I'm doing here. And now I'm going to trim a little bit off the top. I'm just, um, I'm waffling. <laughs> As our friends in England say, I am waffling. <laughs> I love that term. Isn't that fun? I love their terms. And I love the way, Carol, I'm waffling. <laughs> okay, so we have... You can make as many pockets as you want, but I'm going to stick with three for this one, okay? Let me just put this here in case I need it. All right, so now I'm going to, I want to punch the hole, so I'm just going to mark it with a pencil. Okay, right where the middle is, just so I can get them all in the middle. I'm going to take my hole punch. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is the problem today? Oh my goodness. Why doesn't this want to punch today? I must be doing something wrong. Oh my. Comedy of errors today, everyone. So you just, I have them folded in half. I'm punching them roughly in the middle. So they're all that, all the same. And now I just want to glue the sides up here. So simple. I think everybody has done these. Just going to get my wet glue and glue up the sides. Nothing fancy. And I do have my words up. I mean, I don't think it matters because you're not going to see them that much. But still, in my mind, I have to have the words facing up on these pockets. Just running a, a thin glue, line of glue to the edge. So then, these are going to become the accordion inside here. See. Um, okay. So first we're going to, you're going to, um, you can even use your glue stick for this part here. You're just going to run a little line of glue only down the middle here. Like this. And then you're going to line up. Make sure you line them up the best you can and stick that down in the middle. And then you're going to do the same on this one and line up the next one. And you can, like I said, add on as many as you want. And so just by doing that, You make your accordion pockets see real easy and, th and that's how you do that so then you're going to put them in here and you're going to do the same you're just gonna put it down the middle like this and you're going to line it up where you want it like that press that down and then you're going to do the same on the front, just down the middle, like that. You're going to close it up. I'll give that a minute. And then we're going to figure out our closure. And maybe do a little decorating. Okay, so the button I have already. I'm just going to do it with a Velcro closure. See? See, then you can fill this with goodies like this. That's all you do. So I'm not going to pull on it. So the Velcro closure I have here. Okay. And let's see. Make sure it's in the right spot. I have them together. I'm going to put this on the button. That's going to be our closure. Hopefully, I'm not ruining it. Okay, so um, 
Okay, I guess I didn't think this through. Let's see, if I put it here, where is it going to go? Hmm. I think I wanted to do it this way, right? Oh, you know what I was supposed to do? Put that on the other, on the inside, I think. And this is just decorative on the outside. I wonder if I can get this off now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is what I should have done. Put it here. Right? So let's see how that works. I'm going to put that there. Pull this off. Okay. Close it here. And then glue this on the top so it's like a faux button. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> you think? I'm going to use my fabric tech for this. Make sure it stays on there. Okay. This is a really easy thing. I hope I didn't make it too difficult. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use this here like that. Okay. Um, and then, oops, don't try pulling it up when you just glued it. Let me set that there for a second. So it's kind of fine. It's definitely... Edith Holden looking, nothing fancy, very plain, right? I don't know. You know, I have those flowers I used in the last, in the last um, video. There are some really fine wildflowers in here, see, like that. I could even put those across here, and, or I can stand them up. You can still read under there. I mean, you know, underneath the sticker, you can still read what it is. Let's see what else is in here. See, here's a little one too without the bottom. Could do that like that, just real simple. Doesn't have to be crazy. Um, kind of liking the the little tiny, tiny, tiny flower. There's a daisy too. No, nope, don't like the daisy. Oh wow! Look at this one little tulip. Isn't that sweet? One little tulip like that. It's so cute, but. I'm thinking I'm liking just this one little piece of like a, it's like a baby's breath. I want to keep it simple. So let me get this off of here. Like that. Okay. And let's just put this here. Right there. Just, it doesn't take away from the writing. It's definitely keeping the simple simplicity of the Edith Holden page, right? Let's see if I can pull on it now. Oh, not dry yet. Let me just lift it up carefully. Sorry. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Cannot wait. You know, just cannot wait for things to dry. We're just so impatient. So there we go. I'm going to let that dry on there. So then you lift it up. It's got the Velcro closure like that. Um, it'll have that. You can fill it up. So it's going to go on a page. So say this is your page. You're going to glue that on the page. And then you can um, glue it on three sides. And you can tuck a tag or something behind here. And then when you open it up, you open it and you can fill it with some things there. And I know I put glue there, so I am going to have to cover this up with a piece of paper on the back. I will do, you know what, I will fix this right now. I was glue happy here. 
this is how I'm going to fix it. Take that Eve Holden paper. I'm going to cut a half a circle. I think I used a smaller circle, but that's okay. Let's see how this works. Yep, <laughs> that's going to work. And I'm going to fix glue that on there. I'm going to have to try. I'll get the regular circle. I'll cut a piece off and I'll fix my little mistake there that I did. Um, so it doesn't stick. But anyway, if you have it on a decorative page, um, I'm trying to see if I have a decorative page anywhere. Like if you were to put it here, like say here, that's pretty on this page, see? That would be real pretty on here if this was a page. And then you could tuck something behind here. And then, you know, you lift it up because I'm not letting it dry. And then you open it up and you can fill it with little goodies in there on your page, little whatever. So, okay, this is our spring. Let me move this out of the way. That's our spring, the little Eve Holden accordion, and I made the button. Oh, and it's, I'm sorry, it's not spring, it was but, hold on, it was button. I'm sorry, not spring, I already did spring. This is button. So I made the button, three layers of Edith Holden paper, used my awl, punched two holes, threaded some thread. You can even just sew them, you know, like, sew this on and wrap the thread around the whole thing if you want but I just wanted to do something different I guess so this will be great in a page and I have an extra button here I can actually do something else with this I think so we'll see but anyway let me leave that there for now move this out of the way the next uh, prompt that we're going to do is uh, number 20 and it's art Okay, so I have a page out of that, um, my reproduction Sears Roebuck and Company book. I think a lot of us have these. I, I wonder if, I think you could still get them. I don't know, I've had this so long. It's very old looking, right? I don't think, it's not an original, obviously. But anyway, I got it out and I wanted to start using it. So for art, on Pinterest, I've been noticing and pinning a lot of envelope art. I think it's really cool what I'm seeing. And a lot of people are putting, using stamps that have heads on the stamps, um, you know, like faces and heads of people on the stamps and putting them on bodies, like cutouts of magazines and books. And I wanted to have a play on that, make a card. So I have a piece of this page out of the catalog with this dapper gentleman here. I have a piece of um, manila envelope. I'm going to just make like a journal card with this. And I'm going to glue this on. And what they do, sometimes it depends on what the body shape is that you could just somehow... Um, slap the stamp on like that you could do that and it, it's like the head of the body you have to look up envelope art on pinterest you'll see what i mean i'll probably be making more things like this in the future but this is my art so um what i did to make it look better is i took scissors and i slit right across here can you see where i slit that up and so i am going to be able to fit this stamp right here and line up his neck with the neck of this and you glue this down and if you look up these things on uh, pinterest um they they are so fun to make like you would be looking for stamps with heads on them um and bodies to cut out of magazines um you can use like i have a whole bunch of stamps here that i'm going to show you and if you look on on Pinterest, like George Washington heads, um, I have some Simpson heads. I have Frank Sinatra, Judy Garland. Um, 
I have Marge Simpson, I think that's what her name is. I have a soldier, um, whatever his name is. I was looking, this is uh, Hattie McDaniel. This is Anna Julia Cooper. You know, like if you have a, a, a Victorian lady body, you put this head on there. It's so cool. So I've been digging through my stamps here. I even have a giant Darth Vader stamp. I can't wait to make a tag with that. So um, I've been pulling out head stamps, and I'm going to soak the backs off and start making some fun things with them. So I thought I'd show you that for now. And if you're interested, look further on Pinterest for more ideas. I think these would be super fun to make. Okay, first thing first. Um, sometimes, like I said, you can just take the stamp and slap it right on the body and it's perfect. But sometimes, um, depending on the way it looks, it's better. Sometimes if you slit the paper and then you could just like line up the the neck or the shoulders with it. In my case, that's how I'm going to do it. Okay, so I am going to... Um, put some glue on here and attempt to get that that stamp in position first before I do anything else. I couldn't get all the paper off this stamp. Usually this paper comes right off these stamps, but that one I had a hard time with. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to get this into position hopefully quickly, get the neck ready, like that, right about there, and glue that down. And then I would have to glue the neck down here, right here. And this paper is real delicate, so I have to be careful so I don't rip it. Otherwise, I think I'm gluing them there. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. I'm going to glue it down on the manila folder anyway. So, Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to glue this onto here. And this I cut it just to match the size of the paper. So I'm going to do that. So let me, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, no, I think I'm going to get my fabric tech glue out, I think, on this one might be easier and quicker. So now you have to look for your stamps with any kind of head on them. And then you're going to start looking through your old magazines or catalogs or books and look for bodies of women or your digitals. You can even use digitals if you don't have any um, magazines or books that you can cut bodies out of to use. But boy, some of them could be super funny. Okay, let me get this on here. I'm going to line this up. Make sure. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Okay. My little end doesn't want to glue down. I'll fix that here. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to trim it. And this is going to be, I'm going to use, um, that's Groucho Marx, by the way, in case you're not sure who that was. It was, it had the name of, it was the shape of a TV and it said, you bet your life. And he was, I guess that was his show. So um, that's where that's from. I am going to cut this excess. Oh, I could cut it off or I could flip it to the back just for interest, couldn't I? I could. I could do that. Now, if I want to make that a tuck, I would have to strengthen this. I could do that too. All right, where is my... You know, this piece that I had cut off from the Edith Holton thing, I could use part of that as a as the, see, I could do that too, just for strength. I think I will. It was laying right here. I was going to use coffee dyed paper, but I could use this and glue this on. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
See, use up what you see on your desk. Don't think twice about it. And now I can use it as a journal card and a tuck. So let's get this on here. Like that. I'm not going to put it up to the edge here so it folds over. This is fun. This will still fold over. And I can glue it there. There and there to make the little tuck pocket. Well, that was a happy accident that I didn't wasn't planning on it, but it just happened that way, right? Use it up, right? Otherwise, I'd rip it off, and then, well, then I would just have to use it on something else anyway. Okay, so there's that. And then to make it funny, so now we have a tuck in there. So far, it's funny already. And I don't really need to ink the edges, I don't think, either. It's already got such a nice color on it, but I could. Just because I, the last, you know, my groovy um, album I made, there was no inking. So I think I was having a little bit of a withdrawal from not inking. <laughs> anyway, so now we have a tuck in here. Oh, I guess I should do this, too. And I should... You know, I like to clip my little corners off. don't like the pointy corners. Okay, there we go. And then, so you can journal. There's enough journaling here. Plus, it's a tuck. I'll make another card to go in there. Okay, so this is an ad for pants. You can see, right? Worsted pants, fabric, hairline pants, gray pants, striped pants. He's dapper, showing his suspenders with these beautiful pair of pants, right? So you're wondering why I have flames? Okay, bear with me. Remember I said I was going to use a snarky comment, and this is my art prompt. I have the snarkies here, and I was going through the, the snarky comments, Tim Holtz snarky comments. This one says, how much better would life be if a liar's pants really did catch on fire, I, I couldn't help myself. He's, this is an ad for pants, Groucho Marx, funny saying, I had to get some flames to put down here. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> I can't stand it. Sometimes, you know, you get these ideas and it's like, oh, I love this idea. So I'm going to, I printed these out. I just looked up, you know. I think I just Googled uh, illustration of flames or something like that. And this popped up and I just saved it and printed it out. Small enough to fit on my tag. And cut it out. And now we're going to glue it on the bottom of the page so it looks like his pants are catching on fire. Let <laughs> me get my, crack myself up. I'm going to put them right down here. I already cut them out and inked them. Look at that. So his his pants are catching on fire. Now, I'm going to cut these ends off, but where to put this? I was thinking of putting it right across here, like his waist. That's where I think I'm going to put it. Is this funny or not? So anyway, let me get some extra glue on here. And then I'm going to cut the ends off. So let's see how this works. I'm going to put it right about here. Okay, make sure I got my ends. Because so I'm going to cut those off. I'm not going to fold those to the back. Okay, so let me cap the glue up. Put that there and then carefully trim these off here. Like this. Okay. 
And then let's look at these pieces here. How funny is this? Can you see that? How much better would life be if a liar's pants really did catch on fire? And the flames are here. So this is number 20. Yeah, number 20 prompt is art. That's my piece of art. And then 19 was button, which I made the uh, Edith Holden buttons and made this cute little accordion holder with a tuck when you put it on a page. So there you go, friends. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope I gave you a chuckle on this one and take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.